I want to talk about something that we have to understand and something that we have to look for. Okay, while I was eating today, so many negative thoughts about my past and stuff like that were coming to my mind. And I was thinking, what in the world is this? And things that happened years ago. And I'm thinking to myself, why is this stupid stuff coming to my mind? And I started to feel mad and sad and all of these weird feelings and stuff like that. And I said to myself, hold on, this is demons here. This is demons trying to provoke me to get angry or to get sad or to hold a grudge against a person. And I know if it has happened to me, it is happening to you as well. So what I am trying to say, don't fall for it. It is demons. Demons. And some people latch on to those demonic thoughts and make them feel all depressed and sad and mad and all of these weird feelings and stuff like that stop falling for it it is demons i am the type of person that serves god and stuff like that but still demons still try to plant their seeds and try to make me all angry and sad about things that happened years ago look the past does not matter the past does not matter. The past is the past. Let it go. If you don't let it go, curses are coming upon you. More bad things are going to happen to you. Well, I don't care, Kevin. What? If you continue to hold on things back in the past, so many bad things are going to happen to you. Let it go. I let go of those I let go of those things but yet that did not stop the demons trying to place those thoughts into my mind anyway and not only today but other days as well continuing and this is never going to stop this is never going to stop it is a continuous test it is a continuous test. You have to learn to let things go and forgive. We all have gone through bad things in life. We all have. So you can't just, oh, you know, this person hurt me. This person hurt me. Oh, I can't let it go. I can't let it go. This is the reason why you are developing so many psychological problems. Because you can't let go and you can't forgive. Because you can't think that what you are going through, no one has gone through it. So what if everyone that has gone through something bad is going to act the same way as you are acting now? Do you know how more messed up this world would be if everyone reacted the same way as you do because of the pain that you have inside? Hey, Kevin, I'm, I'm just hurt because, you know, my dad and my uncle and my cousin and my brother and, and this person and that person just hurt me, hurt me down in my heart. Oh, I can't take it anymore, Kevin. Come on now. No. No. Let it go. And if you have let it go, if demons are placing it in your mind, take it right back out. Like no demon, I am not going to think about this. I bind and cast you out right now. That's all you got to do. That's it. And this happens to me every day. 
the more that you elevate in God, the more attacks that you are going to receive. So if you want to get higher in God, and if you are having trouble with the attacks that you are receiving now, how can you get any higher in God? Think about that. Because the higher you go in God, <laughs> the demonic attacks are going to raise too. <laughs> Hey, Kevin, you know, I want to prophesy, I want to speak in tongues, I want to do this, I want to do that. But in your personal life, you can't get over the smallest issues. And you believe once you get way up there that things are going to be okay. No, the higher you go in God, the higher you go in God, the worst things are going to happen to you. The more attacks that you are going to receive. So if you can't take things in the smallest stages that you are in now, how do you expect to raise? Think about that. <laughs> that is something to think about. You want to do all of these things in God, but you are not looking at the bad things. And you think that all your problems are just going to fade away. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So my main point, when demonic thoughts come to your mind, reminding you of what people did to you back in your past, take it right back out. And if you are entertaining those thoughts, oh, poor me, you know, this person was really mean to me and... Oh, I'm just going to feel down and all depressed and I'm going to lay in bed all day long and just look all sad so people can have pity on me and stuff like that. Grow up. When are you going to get over it? The Bible says that we have to forgive. So if you don't forgive, how can you get to heaven? But it hurts. Yes, <laughs> I'm sure it does it hurt. That's the reason why God tells us to forgive. In order to get to heaven, you have to sacrifice. And if you are not willing to sacrifice but to hold on to everything that happens to you, you're just holding on to stuff. You're just holding on. You're just holding on. I'm just holding on. I'm holding on to every bad thing that happens to me. Keep holding on to things. You got to let it go. I really hope that makes sense. Let it go. Kick out those demonic thoughts that come to your mind. And they are going to continue to keep coming. If you are anything like me or like other people or, or whatever else, they are going to continue to come to your mind. And when they come to your mind, Continue to kick them out. If you hold on to them, I'm telling you, that is the start of more bad things that are coming your way. Okay, God bless.